Hello everyone, you are welcome to Anchor Network where you get reliable and authentic news that are so crucial to you. I say big thank you to everyone who has been part of this channel and who has taken time to subscribe. And if you are here to subscribe, I say please click the red subscribe button and also the bell icon. The bell icon will allow you to get notified anytime we publish any news. Obaseki on his way out of APC, says Ushumole. The National Chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Adam Sushomole, has accused Governor Godwin Obaseki of a do of anti-party activities, saying the governor is fomenting chaos to create disaffection in the state chapter of the APC, insisting that Obaseki had already perfected plans to dump the APC ahead of next year's governorship pool. He also challenged Obaseki to focus on service delivery and good governance to the Edo people, rather than blackmailing his personality. He said, we have it on good authority that the governor Obaseki intends to create disaffection and crisis in the, in the state, APC, and probably dump the party for another party. That is why he has embarked on this brigandage, which Edo people will resist. So he should stop blackmailing me and face governance, which is why Edo people voted him into power. Ushumole said in a statement by his chief press secretary, Simon Ebegbilum, in Abuja. But Governor Obaseki charged Ushumole to observe protocols while visiting Edo State. Obaseki, who spoke through his special advisor on media and strategy, Kruso Osage, denied knowledge, denied knowledge of the alleged attack on Ushumole's residence in Benin City last Saturday. He recalled how Oshumole threatened to make Edo State ungovernable, adding he was planning to escalate the security situation in the state to make good his threat. Whenever he wants to come to the state, he doesn't inform the governor, the police or the DSS, but the talks. As a former governor, he ought to inform the governor and security agencies each time he desires to visit the state. The commissioner of police, Dan Malam Mohammed, has declared the state peaceful, but Ushomole and his cohorts are bent on making it ungovernable. Try as they would, I know the governor and security agencies would not allow that. As a former governor, Ushomole should not undermine the capacity and integrity of the police unless otherwise is looking for anarchy, he stated. He charged government functionaries and political offices, office holders to be circumspect in their comments on the allegations of attack on Oshomole's residence in the state. But in a swift reaction, Oshomole indicted the police commissioner, saying he has now become a willing tool in the hands of the desperate politicians in the state, insisting that Obaseki had already perfected plans to dump the APC ahead of next year's governorship pool. In a statement, Oshomole claimed the resolve by Obaseki to fan the embers of discord in Edo State among supporters of this party was aimed at achieving the objective. Ushumole, who spoke through his media AD, Simon Ebegulem, claimed Obaseki must have picked a quarrel with him over his enviable records in the state. Meanwhile, a former chairman of Ovia North East Council area, Faustin Ovia yesterday said he and his over 3,000 supporters were ready to work towards ensuring success for Obaseki's re-election. Ovia who led his supporters back to the APC, declared his intention at a meeting with Deputy Governor Philip Shaibu, saying his support for the party was total. He noted that next year's governorship election will be a walkover for Obaseki in view of the governor's pedigree saying continuity for Obaseki was non-negotiable due to APC's development strides in the state. Also, APC leader in the council area are Commissioner for Local Governments and Community Affairs, Monde Osaibuvu, said people were proud of Obaseki's development strides and would return him for his second term. Speaking, Shaibu noted that the progress so far made in the state would not be put on reverse gear by anybody or group of persons. He stated that the decision of the former PDP members to deface and align with the state government at a time when there was crisis in the APC showed that government does not reverse its policies because of people who do not understand what leadership entails. 
Besides, the governor yesterday sacked all the political appointees in the state's 18 councils. A government statement said all special advisors, senior special assistants, secretaries to the local government and supervisory councillors were affected. Earlier this month, Obaseki sacked over 300 political appointees, while four council chairmen, namely Ehi Ugbemudia Ego, Patrick Agunide of Esan West, Alaji Yaksan Musa Esako West, and Aremuyo Momo of Esako East and had been suspended for alleged corrupt activities. Wow. This uh, Shomole and uh, Obaseki fracas is not hidden again. They are just can they are just confronting each other back and forth. They are not even hiding anything. They are just telling the whole world that really they are ready for each other, and that is what they are they are bent on doing. There is no more diplomacy, there is no more hiding, or there is no more trying to be to to be call, uh, po politically correct. They are giving it to each other face to face. They don't care anymore. You know, initially they were trying to hide this whole thing, but they couldn't cover it. You know, initially people were like, both of them from both parties, they were like, oh, people are just trying to make up things that nothing was really wrong between the two gentlemen. But now they are not hiding it. They try to hide it. A lot of people came in and all of that. You know, we always say in every rumor, there's always element of truth. They will deny it for all they care. Because in as much you are dealing with one or two persons, you think that thing is a secret, no matter what, in as much it has, you know, be out of your mouth, out of your mind, uh, uh, from your heart, you know, you have said it out in the first place. It's no longer a secret. So you can just be deceiving people, but people really know what is happening. Even people who are not in government, they always see their body language, they, you know, they do hear their speeches here and there, their position, and people tend to know what is happening. Just like what is happening in the presidency, in the Asu Villa, everybody was, uh, you know, the ruling party and their supporters and their, their, their people saying, oh, it is just the work of a mischief makers. They are the one making up things that there is peace, there is everything. Even the same thing with the vice president saying, oh, nothing is happening. And all of a sudden, people are coming here and the people are even the ones closer to the, to, 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 to the said people like Oshibaju. He went and told uh, some of his colleagues, you know, in, as pastors, what he has been experiencing, confirming that we have Kabas, just the same thing the wife of the president has been saying. You know, just like I always say, it, they are, everything is just made open, but they are, they are feeling that people don't reason, people don't, don't think. Of course, they just want to be politically correct, you know, singing and reading rhetorics here and there, just to keep up the 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 pace but in reality a lot of things have really gone wrong just the same thing happening to obaseke and uh, ushomole now ushomole is accusing obaseke of you know already made plans to leave the party because of the next year governorship election i don't know why they are picking on each other because they were so close no one would have thought that these guys you know, could degenerate to this level of embarrassing themselves. We could remember uh, Obasekis uh, when he was coming in after Ushumole had already finished his tenure. You know, they were just like five and six. They were singing each other's praises. And what could have happened? They were accusing of Ushumole of trying to be the godfather in the state. And Ushumole is uh, denying that. From all indications, it's like Ushumole really wanted to control the things he was avoiding, he was condemning him before now and the fact that uh, they thought or they are saying that is the same thing Oshomole really wanted to bring into that into the state in as much he thought all of them even Obaseki and the likes of them when they were working under him he taught them on how to deal with godfathers but now Oshomole wants to impose himself or to plant himself as a godfather and that, that's what they have been saying from the beginning that they don't want such things but Oshomole has been denying it so I see no reason why there's this fracker. Like I said in one of my videos that there must be something wrong with this guy. There must be something, you know, they have shared. There must be a secret that they have shared that is really bringing this whole thing. And they know themselves very well. So for Shumole to be accusing Obaseki, whether he's making it up or whether it is true, they know how they play their games. But Shumole, Obaseki has denied it that it's nothing like that. It's not really, 
going anywhere that is still in APC. So what is the problem between the both of them? Because they were just accusing each other. Face the governance. You want to be the godfather. I don't want you to be the godfather. This, this and that. You have made, uh, you have threatened that you are going to make the, the state ungovernable. Why? Onto what? Because you guys want to serve the people. It's really ridiculous. Honestly ridiculous. Someone said Oshumole should always notify the governor before visiting the state for security purposes. The governor is right. Security of lives and property of Edo people is paramount to this government. Obaseki, the people are with you. Osho, better come and take over from Obaseki. You are going too far. Remember, you forced Obaseki on Edo people. Why are you now crying wolf? Wow. Mm. Yes, that is the language of uh, faith leaders accusing people of saying they will make the state ungovernable or the country ungovernable even when they cannot up with proof. When Obaseki rudely denied past chairman, chairman and councillor second tenor against the wish of his party, was he trying to make the state governable when he carried out a, a, a Coven inauguration of 9 out of 24 members. Was he trying to make the state governable? When he attacked those he denied inauguration, was he trying to make the state governable? When he illegally suspended four chairmen and sacked all local government secretaries, supervisory councillors, and other aides, was he trying to make the state governable? When he took control of local government IGR, which is one of their constitutional means of getting funds, was he trying to make the state governable? He is only fighting himself. By the time he is weak, people will only make, will take his weak body home. Wow. So, of course, uh, uh, both uh, uh, Oshomole and Obaseki, they have their loyalists, they have their fans. Everybody is teaching to where they, they are comfortable with. But with the way the two of them are going, I hope they are not going to... Um, make the whole place ungovernable for the people or they are not going to mess the state up so guys i would like to hear from you you know with this allegation uh that a uh, obaseki is dumping apc because of a, a next governorship election please leave your comments below in the comment section bye